Jonathan Azorio in Toronto FC have received an immediate transfer offer from Panathinaikos, the current league leaders in the Greece Super League. But the real question within this transfer is, is it a step up or a step down for Jonathan Azorio? Going to a mid-tier league in the Greece Super League, playing for the top side in Panathinaikos, or staying at the MLS where he's played his whole career with Toronto FC, a very bottom league side in the MLS. For me, it is a huge step up to go to Europe and play in the Greece Super League for a side like Panathinaikos. You look at the sides in this league, Olympiakos, Pauk, AEK Athens, and Panathinaikos are of course the big four and the four that you always hear about in Greece. And for me, it'd be amazing to see him go to Olympiakos or a side with a bit more quality, but Panathinaikos are off to a great start running the league, four wins out of four and look brilliant. But is it the most exciting move? No, it is not for a Canadian fan. But for me, I'm very excited by this move because, yes, it is still a mid-tier league in Europe. He could easily go to a Portugal, a Belgium, or even the Eredivisie. But this is what he's gotten so far. And really, so far, Toronto FC's Jonathan Osorio is currently preferring a move after the World Cup, which is very interesting, and I don't blame him because I think he could get a lot more out there. But you don't really want to push a team like this away yet, especially a side like Panathinaikos, who are off to a fantastic start, already brought in an immediate offer for him. But the thing is, Zoria's contract is running out with Toronto FC and set to expire this winter, as they're not a playoff team either. And... He'll have a lot of offers on the table, I do believe, whether that's from MLS sides or mid-tier leagues in Europe. He's going to have a lot of interest after the World Cup. But Panathinaikos has come in there straight now, before this first window for Canada, before the World Cup, and won and bad. And it is very interesting because this would be a very good step up for me. Because you look at a side like Panathinaikos, they're in a very good mid-tier league in Europe, a side of a lot of rich history in the footballing landscape, likes of Olympiakos, Pauk, AK Athens, all these sides in Greece have a lot of rich footballing history, won a lot in Europe as well. And you look at what Panathinaikos are off to so far, four wins out of four, they could get into a Europa League, a Europa League conference, and that'd be amazing for Jonathan Azorio to experience something like that. I think he'd go straight in this lineup. They have a lot of quality in the side already. They're not one of those teams with a lot of big name players. There's no Insigne's, Crescitos, Bernadeschi's, Bales. But for me, when you look at the MLS and their top quality, I think this Greece top quality would beat those MLS sides any day. And I know that's um, a bold prediction or a bold statement, but you look at the MLS right now, it's a place for retirement. It's a place where these older players come to play. And I know that is a very out there prediction and something to say, but these Italians are here for a payday. Carlos Vea, yes, he's Mexican, but he could be playing abroad and I understand that. Gareth Bale, he's here just to wind down and warm up for the World Cup. And after that, he's probably going to retire. You just look at Giorgio Chiellini, also here for a payday in retirement. These players are at the end of their careers running down with not as much quality left. They just look phenomenal because they're playing against some mediocre players at the end of the day. You look at what Jonathan Azorio would be playing with in Europe. The likes of Olympiakos, Pauk, AK Athens, fair play, he wouldn't be playing them every week. But when he does, those matches are going to be phenomenal for him to experience the crowds, the atmospheres, and the quality of play. And I think this team could easily push into a European spot, whether that be league, conference league, Champions League if they win the league. It would be very interesting for him, and it'd be great to... Um, Try a different atmosphere, play in a different club. He's been with Toronto FC his whole life, his whole career. And go to Europe. He's always wanted to play in Europe. And I think this would be a great club for him to land in with the Greek First Division, the Super League with Panathinaikos. But you also have to look at it from another atmosphere, at, at aspect. Sorry, guys. Should he wait till after the World Cup? For me, maybe he should. Because I think he, he's definitely a shoe and he's a lock to start for Canada at the World Cup. Depends on injuries and everything going on in his personal situation. But he's a lock to start the World Cup and he's going to make sure he's starting. Because Jonathan Azorio has been brilliant for Toronto FC. You just got to look at his stats. He's been fantastic going box to box. Scoring for fun. In the league so far this year, he has been brilliant. From 20 appearances and 20, 20 starts... He has had 9 goals and 4 assists with 5 yellow cards. That's from 22 appearances with 20 starts. He has been absolutely phenomenal for Toronto FC. He can play box-to-box -box centrally. He can play a bit further back as a 
ball moving six and creating space and finding players but he is also fantastic going box to box giving you goals giving you assists spreading the ball around and creating lots of chances you just got to look at his attributes finishing is of course very strong his passing and key passes is absolutely brilliant and he loves to play those little one twos he would be very exciting for a team in the dutch league i would love to see him at a final or um maybe a psv eindhoven i don't think he could get into an ajax but one of those top teams in uh, the Dutch league in the Eredivisie, I think he'd suit into perfectly. Feyenoord, I think, would be an amazing move for Jonathan Azorio. Even a side lower down in Belgium, maybe a gank, maybe maybe one of those sides. I think he'd be very good in the Belgian league, in the the uh, Dutch league, with uh, sides like Feyenoord or PSV Eindhoven, where he can move the ball around, play his style of game. And I think it would suit him very well. But I don't think those offers are going to come till maybe after this window where he can impress against Uruguay or Qatar where I think people are going to be watching him more. Maybe it'll be after the World Cup. And I think he should wait. I really do. I think he should. But this officer Panathinaikos should not be getting downplayed as much as it is in the media. I do think they're a very good side. And I think they are better than a lot of people think. People rate the MLS very highly just looking at some of the players that are there but you just got to look at why they're there the money they're on what they're getting what their incentives are and i think you got to look at some of these mid-tier european leagues and not downplay them as much as they are because olympiakos is a top top side yes he's not going there but they're a very class side and i've always rated olympiakos and people got to start looking at this greece league and even sides like panathinaikos guys i think this would be a huge step up for jonathan sorio i think Maybe waiting might be the smartest decision. Yes, TFC don't have that playoff football they really look forward to, but I think Jonathan Azorio with his contract running down, with how he is a complete lock for the World Cup unless injuries come into play, he's going to show his stuff for the World Cup. And I think teams are going to be impressed, and they're going to come knocking, and they're going to get him at a very good fee because he is on a free. Guys, there's going to be a lot of offers for Jonathan Azorio. Let's keep an eye on this one especially. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should he go to Panathinaikos? Should he keep his eyes open to move to a different league? Maybe even a championship. We'd have to see. But Dutch league, Portuguese, Belgian. Should he wait? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Hit that like button. Drop a sub. I hope you guys are appreciating everything. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.